Right, so first off, like I told you, I got a lot of brothers, but those are brotherhoods that I formed inside. Yeah. This is my brother, and, and this is from my blood. My, from the sangre, you know? Okay. Mommy had us both, you know? Okay, got you, got you. I, 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 I'm a little lighter, he's a little darker, but yeah. that's, so be, that's because us Boricuas, we come in all shades, you know? That's a fact. But, you know, mommy had us both, you know? Okay, but and you were saying outside that um you, you looked up to him as a kid. Yes. He he was how many years apart are you guys? Uh, um eight. Yeah. And that and that means a lot because when you're ten and he's eighteen, yeah, it means a lot. It's time. like, you know, he he you can't go to the clubs with him, you can't do <laughs> shit, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, me, but uh, we used to get him man. We used to get him yeah. man somehow. <laughs> oh, yeah. But but like I told you before, like growing up, you know, all all you know my 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 little my my uh, comrade that we grew up together in the street, right? Yeah. Right, you know, and ese tiempo era yo, Chiqui, Eddie, little Polly, can do. Yeah. So all of us growing up, we looked up to this bum right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was the older. He was the older <laughs> he, one. He was older than us, oh. but he he was he, you know at, at his time he was doing him. Yeah. And más todavía ahora he gets mad respect all over Southern Boulevard on Cypress, right? So we looked up to him, we followed him around, you know what I'm saying? And we waited till he went out dancing, and he used to have his, his, his mini bikes and all that shit there. And in ese tiempo, we used to just take him and go cruising, you know? And we used to wear his, his uh, British walkers, he thought, yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then try to, you know, clean him up and shit, and put him and back, put him back. his notice, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, we, we all, yeah, you know what? It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, you know? Um, to just have mentors, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, so, so um, Eddie, I have a question for you. He he was uh, explaining. He grew up in. Well, he said eighty. So for you, you probably was out there with seventy five. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, what, yeah, yeah. In what, what what was the, what was the Bronx like? You know, I asked him the same question, but I'm at because you you got a, a, a more time. What was that like? You know, Cypress and and Southern Boulevard and Longfellow and, and that area. In, in those days, you know, and in, in your in your time that that you started, you know, uh, hanging out and 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 uh, in the streets. Well, we started hanging out and trying to make some dollars. Um, you know, we was young at that time by opening the trucks. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> I told you. I told that was the first step. That was yeah, a graduation. Yeah. yeah, that was like back at like seventy four, seventy five, seventy six around there, and um, um. Pito and, and Chiki, they used to watch us. That was younger, but you know, my crew, when we used to hit the trucks, it was like for the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We, we, the hood, the whole hood to, used to survive. To we, feed the block. Right, to feed the block. Because we take cow, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to take like half a cows, half yeah. a pigs, you know, electronic stuff, but it was for the hood. It wasn't like to sell, like people doing now to sell to survive yeah. and do other stupid shit. We was doing it. To eat. To eat, to survive. The hood, the whole, you know. That's what I was doing it. Okay. And then, you know, after that, we graduate to other things. <laughs> you know? He, he, man, he mentioned yeah. He mentioned it. You know what I mean? But that's how we were surviving, you know? Hitting the trucks and shit. Um, he, and the freight trains also. Uh, oh, the freight trains too? Yeah, yeah. Also Diablo. Freight trains. Yeah, that yeah, nigga, yeah, so, I, yeah. I knew about the trucks. I didn't know yeah, about the yeah, freight trains. And, and Whitlock, at that time, in Whitlock, we had an opening. They, is, everything is closed now, get it? But we had an open, and we used to go, like, underneath the, the highway... And then we took the, the the freight trains and yeah. shit, and you know, we used to come out with everything out of there, you know, bikes and, and, and like you said, <laughs> like you said, for the hood, everybody yeah, got for the hood, everybody yeah, got yeah, bikes yeah. and TVs now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he meant he mentioned thirty. He did thirty two years. Um, how many? Do, do you have a number <laughs> of, of for for your time? I got about sixteen. Sixteen in and out. Yeah, in and out. Yeah. And is this and and, and did, did you ever run into each other? No, that's no. It, it was the time was off, but it could have happened, right? Yeah, it could have happened. Yeah, it could have happened because um, when he went in, I was going up north. Okay. At that time, when he, when we so you just didn't run into each other because just it didn't, but it could it could have happened. Yeah, yeah, plus a little age difference also. Oh, you mentioned that yeah. about yeah, the yeah. the B, the A, and the B thing. And yeah, B, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those He's... and adolescents, yeah. Okay, yeah. so so the A, so wait a minute. In prison, the age, the eight year age gap, that means something. You start off at a di different pl prisons, like the cycle like, is different. Yeah, and, and I, also in Rikers Island, the cycle is different. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, so yeah, if Racket Silent 21 and under, or not even, if Racket Silent is 19 and under, you in the adolescence, 19 and over, you in the adults. Mm -hmm. So different different cell blocks, different buildings, he thought. And again, with us, adolescents, you start off in Omira, you go to Kasaki, shit like that, that is all adolescents. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You you eventually start going to other prisons that got the dose, but okay. But not only that, the same thing that you said before, the clique is different. Like he he had his own Yeah. You, you're not gonna join cliques because it's just different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go let's 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 talk about now when did the life go away and your lawyer or, or whoever tell you, you know what, you got a chance to come home? Well, like I told you, uh, I went to the board six times. They hit me six times. After, after the, believe it or not, after the fifth time, I said, "Yo, I don't like, care no more." Like carajo, I'm not, I'm not <laughs> even going to the board no more. Yeah. So they, they come and tell me, "Yo, uh, 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 pistol, you gotta go see the board." I be like, "Get the fuck out of here." Lo que pasó after the last hit, el panita mío, Tato, he comes and he says, "Yo, I'm gonna make an appeal for you." Because Cuomo had passed a new law about the age. He's talking about, yo, you can't sentence a, a person who's under 18 to a life sentence. You got to give them hope. Mm -hmm. So Tato said, yo, I'm going to write a motion for you. And I'm like, yeah, hey, vete esa pendeja. And he did it. So he did it, and he told me, here, just get it notarized and put it in. I said, yo, get the fuck out of here with this. I kept saying, yo, vete eso, vete eso. Because to me... He lost hope. That, that's it. Yeah. I, I, I live there. I'm going to die there. That's the end of the story. But he kept pushing me and pushing me. And to get him off my back, I said, bien. I took it. I got a notarized. I threw it in the mail. And a couple months after that, I received a letter from a judge talk about that they releasing me because of the age. Wow. I got a life sentence and I was 17. And otra vez, the way my mind was working, I was like, ah, oh, they, 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 they trying to play mind games with me. Yeah. They trying to, you know, they trying to fuck with me. Yeah, so, so I didn't believe it. Y hasta que llegó el día, and in the morning they come and open my cell. They said, come on, you're going. Home? Yeah, I'm going home. So I, I, again, I'm still like skeptical. So I come out and I told eh, eh, Panita Mio, there's in, in the, on the, on the company, you know, the, the, the house gang, I said, listen, if I don't come back, give my whole cell to Tato. Y me voy pa'lante, they put me in the front, in the front of, you know, the jail, the bullpen. They kept me there for a couple of hours. So now I said, I knew they was messing with me. I knew they was messing with me. But after about three hours, they opened the door and said, yo, se pica por ahí. So when I got out and I'm in the front of the jail, then I said, wait a minute, this shit is real. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That f <laughs> and, and, and it was that fast? It was that fast. Do they give you a fucking bus pass or a token or anything? <laughs> they gave me $40. And you got to get home from if, where? If I, I From Greenhaven. I was in Greenhaven. They, they, they gave that's, me... That's Connecticut? What is that? No, it's, so, it's upstate New York. It's okay. A, it's an upstate. It's a mission to get back to? So, uh, yeah, it was a mission. But uh, but uh, believe it or not, my daughter, my daughter showed up to pick me up. Oh, so she knew? She knew. You know, she believed it and I didn't. Oh, well, you were in communication. Yeah, man. Yo, I this... told, yeah, I told her. I said, yo, these people talk about because they're going to, you know, they're going to let, let me go. So she, you know so she, saying? So but she I, came I had doubts. My daughter, she... my daughter showed up. She showed up and she picked me up in a car and, and she was waiting outside. And I seen her go, I hugged my daughter and I said, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Before they changed their, change their mind, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know, that's you know, crazy. Man, and yo, I ain't look back since, man. You know, I ain't look back since. Wow, right? That's and 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 you telling me, I'm I don't fucking believe it. I'm like, they're gonna come get you, bro. <laughs> so okay, so now you're home. Yeah. You got to do the old. You no, know, I'm pretty sure you got to. Uh, would you stay with your daughter? Like you got to give an address to the PO so, and all that bullshit. Believe it or not, when I first came home, you know. My mom was my mom my mom was my my trooper. Yeah. My mom wound up getting sick. She she got Alzheimer's. So when I was first coming home, Eddie was locked up. So I'm coming home. I ain't really had a place to stay. My daughter, uh, 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 when like I said, you know, she she had an apartment, but my she had a baby también. And I said, I'm not going. I'm too old to crash with my daughter. So I was putting for shelter, and. 
my man, my man, Victor, he came and told me, listen, I got a, a little condo. I got two bedrooms. Stay in this in the extra bedroom until you get on your feet. I don't want you going to a shelter after all those years because if one of them crackheads or something steals something from you, pop off. You're going to pop off. So I wound up going and I stood in his house. And, and that was a blessing. And, and that was a blessing. I stood in his house, but the time I was, I was staying in his <laughs> house, I had, you know, even though it was a slow process before I came home, my mindset ya estaba cambiando. So I said, okay, listen, my past life, I don't want to revisit it. I got to start over. So uh, I, I made a decision. I said, yo, how can I start over if I'm in the same place, in the same environment, in the same neighborhood, the same group of oh, people? Oh, well, where, was the, where was the place you were staying? In the Bronx. San As. St. Anne's, which is... St. Anne's, which, right, right, a block, a, a block from, from, from Cypress. From uh, Cypress. Uh, yeah, yeah, a block from Cypress. So I said... I got I, I to gotta get the fuck out of here. So I said, I got to go. So entonces, I got a, a cousin that live in Long Island. I don't know shit in Long Island. I ain't know, never been to Long Island dead in my life, but I said, fuck it, pa' ya me voy. Y me tiré pa' allá. And, you know, I, I went out there and I did like a hundred different jobs because yeah. I would I would get hired for a job and as soon as they do a background check, they'll tell me, uh, listen, the position is no longer available. They, they, and, they, they were scared of death. And they would let me go. So I kept going through that process, going through that process and... That's actually how we met. Cause, yeah. Because, and, and Andrew, I got Andrew a job and, and he's, still, he's still there to this day. Yeah. Um, and... He was like, yo, you know, my boy Peter needs a job. I'm like, yo, bring him. And we, you, you came to the job and everything. And same shit happened. Same shit happened. I even spoke to uh, the union rep. And yeah. He says, yo, you're going to be a good fit for the company. Though. But when and the, the same shit happened. When the background came up, they said, oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So I went through that a lot. Do you know when I went to Long Island, I said, all right, let me go to school. And I went to a uh, real estate U in Long Island. I went for my real estate license. I graduated, top three. I went to the state building. I took my license. I got my license. Out of, out of sixty-eight people, I had I had the the the, the seventh highest score, and a lot of the sixty-eight from the real failed. estate. Yep, I got my real estate license. I worked as a real estate agent for about two weeks. They took my license. Background check again. Background. What check. the fuck? They took, they took my license. 